Hey everyone, it's Dirk from Robot Mowers Australia. So the new Segway Navimo X3 series is about to be launched globally. Um, we've had this test unit for a couple of months now and I thought it'd be a good time to introduce it to our Australian uh, followers and do a little bit of a comparison of what we know of this model compared to the I series and the H series. So let's get into it. So up the back here we've got the Navimo H series. This was launched in Australia around August of 2023, so we're coming up to two years. Uh, this was one of two RTK type robotic mowers to be launched in the Australian market and basically this and the other one being the Mimotion Luba ended any sales that we were getting of wired robotic mowers. Obviously RTK with its wireless system is a lot easier to install and maintain and to adjust than a wired system. So uh, pretty much since August of 23, we haven't really sold a wired mower. So the H series is or has been the premium mower in the Navimo range. Uh, it comes with a few f extra features that the I series doesn't have. It has electronic height adjustment. It has inbuilt 4G. Um, theft tracking, that sort of stuff. Uh, it's got the original vision fence, um, which I believe in the European market, the mower was available without vision fence, but the Australian distributor decided to, to bring it only, only bring it into the country with vision fence, which was a good thing. Um, and it's been a great performer over the last couple of years and done pretty well in the Australian market. Now, if we move over here to the I-Series, this was launched in the Australian market around August of last year. So about 12 months after the H-Series, it's the second generation of mower uh, from Segway Navimo. And it was also produced to come down at a better price point for the Australian market than the H-Series. So it's got a couple of things taken out of it. Uh, one of them, so it has a manual height adjustment rather than the electronic height adjustment. Uh, obviously saves a lot of electronics and saves a bit of cost and also it doesn't come standard with 4G connectivity. You can add that for $199 with the access module if you do want that. Say for example if the mower is running around in your front yard you may want to keep that uh, connectivity um, so you can add that and get a year's free data with that. Um, otherwise as a basic machine the 500 uh, square meter model, the 105A, comes in at just under 2000 Australian dollars. So it's very affordable for anybody with a smaller yard who doesn't want to be spending multiple thousands of dollars on a robotic mower. Now let's have a look at the X3 and have a discussion about what we know about it so far. So I'll flip these up shortly and show you the size difference, but this is significantly bigger in length and width than the, well, both of them, but it's probably double the size of the i-series. Um, it's got a lot of smart features. EFLS 3.0 is what they're calling it. So Vision Fence is, was their first version in the H-series. Then they've got EFLS 2.0 in the i-series, and now they've got 3.0 in the X-series. X3, uh, sorry. Um, another attractive feature of it, it does have this beautiful LED light bar. It's very bright at night. It's quite visible when it's mowing out in the yard. Another feature on the X3 series is this large digital display on the top of the mower. It will give you easy to see uh, what the current status of the mower is. Um, if there's an error message it will display it up in there. So you can do a lot of diagnosing without having to go into the app. I guess in a similar way to the H series but a lot more visual. Um, and just easier to understand rather than just error codes. It's actually showing you pictures as well Other than that From what I've seen from some of the overseas websites, there are four models in the X3 range There is the X315 which is this one which is rated to I thought it was 1500 square meters. Um, I did see from the US they were saying half an acre so that should be about 2,000 square meters but I believe it's 1,500 square meters which is definitely this one. There's the X350E which is rated to 4,000 square meters or one acre. 
There's the X350E, which is rated to 6,000 square meters or one and a half acres. And then there's the X390E, which is rated to 10,000 square meters or two and a half acres. So externally, they're all the same size. I believe the cutting discs are the same size. It's battery size and runtime that varies, as you get with most of the other brands. The larger capacity models have larger batteries, so they can be running out there for longer and needing less time on the charger. So I believe the 315E 1500 square meter model has a runtime of around about one to one and a half hours. I haven't um, actually watched it closely myself um, while I've been testing it to time that, but um, I believe that to be the case. And it comes with a six amp hour battery. The X350, the 4000 square meter model has a runtime of two hours and it comes with an eight amp hour battery. The X350 has a runtime of three hours and comes with a 10 amp hour battery. And the X390 10,000 square meter model has a runtime of four hours and a 12.8 amp hour battery. This same as the H series comes with included 4G connectivity. So you don't need to be adding your own SIM card or anything like that. The 2000 square meter model comes with one year the 4000 comes with two years, the 6000 has three years, and the 10,000 has five years of included data. So obviously once you get to the end of those periods, you then need to renew through the, through the app. Uh, currently for both the i-series and the h-series, if you want to renew in Australia, it's $49.50 per year. So it's pretty affordable. What else do we know? Uh, they are rated to a 27 degree slope. Um, one of the new updates which came out in the i-series as well was traction control and it caused a bit of drama with the uh, i-series. Um, so that, that was a bit of a bug um, in the app that, or in the firmware that still needed some work. Um, the other main differences with the X3 are it has a much wider range of view with the obstacle detection with the cameras. It has 300 degrees view, so it's not only seeing directly in front of it, but it's also seeing quite wide out to the sides. Um, so when it's turning, it's going to be less likely to bump into obstacles on the sides, um, scrape up against walls, that sort of thing. And also wanted to mention something that is very noticeable as soon as you pull it out of the box and get it going, it cuts uh, or it drives much faster than the other models. So um, not only does it have a wider cutting disc, but it drives around about twice the speed of what these others do. So it covers a lot of ground very quickly. That's enough on the specifications. Let's have a look underneath them. Okay, let's have a look at the underside of the mowers. Um, obviously the i-series being the smallest, quite a small cutting disc. The X3 has a very large cutting disc compared to the other two and the H-series sits in the middle. So the I-series, this is the 500. Um, I've just pulled it out of the box, it's brand new. The X3, as I said, has been running around on my lawn for a couple of months now as a test unit. It's an early production model. And the H-series I've had running on my lawn as my daily mower for around about 18 months now and it's been doing a good job. Let's just have a look at uh, the differences in the sizes of the cutting discs. So the i-series has a 16 centimeter cutting disc. The X3 has a 21 centimeter cutting disc. And the H-series has an 18 centimeter cutting disc. So I've got about three centimeters more than on the H-series. The other thing to note is it has got more blades. So there's one two, three, four, five. It is a five bladed disc. Same style blades, exactly the same blades as on the others. But that does give it better cutting capacity. Uh, and like I said, it does travel a lot faster. Now, unlike the I-series, but similar to the H-series, the disc is offset from the center. So you do get a lot closer to the edge than what you do with the I-series. Um, I have only sort of tested on large open areas and I haven't found any problems with it. 
I don't have any sort of clearly defined edges that I can really run it against to test it, but I imagine you would you would still, as usual, have you know a 75 to 100 mil strip of grass that you need to mow. <coughs> Other things to note: the caster wheels are a lot larger. Obviously, being a larger unit. Um, than some of these others, but the same dual casters at the front, electronic height adjustment in the same way as the H series. You've got your battery pack under there, um, all easy to get to. Um, I imagine down the track, if the time came to replace a battery, a user could very easily, an owner could very easily do that themselves without having to send it in for service. So that makes it very user friendly um, and yeah, keeps the cost down for the owner because you don't need to send it in for, to a service center to just to change out a battery. Let's just uh, put the push this one back a little and we'll throw the I series up in front of the X3. I'll center it on and we'll move the camera and give you a bit of an idea of the scale difference of the two. So you can see here the X3 sits a good 20 centimeters or so longer in length and probably about 10 centimeters longer than the H series. Now one thing I will just say about the specifications and the models, this is all relevant to Australia. Um, the X3 has not been launched in Australia as yet. That won't be happening until around about spring of 2025, so probably August, September. Similar time frame to these other two. Uh, so it just remains to be seen which models, if all four are going to be launched here or whether it's only a select uh, two or three, not sure. Uh, I know, for example, the i-series, there is a, a 110, which is available in the US market, but not here in Australia. We only have the 105 and the 108. We might just have one last little look. And as soon as we get any further updates from the Australian distributor, on when the X3 is going to be launched here in Australia and which models are going to be available, we will definitely let you know. Hopefully that was useful to you. If you have any questions, reach out to us at robotmowersaustralia.com.au. You can email us info at robotmowersaustralia.com.au or you can give us a call on 1300 RoboMo, which is 1300 762 666. Until then, thanks for watching.